The last episode, so, uh, Melissa whispered something yeah, into her dad's ear. Are we going to find out what was said? Yes. I'm pretty sure. I think. I mean, I know what she said. Okay. And what I said to him was the real okay. thing. Really? So you find out way far in advance kind of what's happening on with your character? No, no never. No. That happened to be a very special instance where I was like, <laughs> what am I whispering to him? And I saw Marlene kind of making the decision, and then she said, like, Okay, and she told me, and then I actually whispered it to him, and I was so excited to have this new juicy gossip. I was like, yes, I know something. <laughs> Take me back to your first day on set, maybe your audition. What do you remember from those early, early days? Uh, I mean, I remember getting the call that I was doing this. I had gone in and met with Bob Levy and the casting directors, and then just going to Vancouver, and I remember what a fun experience it was. Um, I had the same schedule as actually Ian and Julian Morris, and so I got to know them really fast because we had a lot of days off together, and I love Vancouver. It was my first time in Vancouver, and just like filming the pilot. It seems like it, seems like it was so long ago, but at the same time, it feels like it was yesterday. It's just so crazy. And it's got to be so fun playing a character like Melissa, who seems like the bad girl, but you're not really sure. Yeah. Do you feel like she's misunderstood like how would you describe her I do to be honest with you it's been very interesting to play her because every time I feel like I figured her out something else gets thrown in and I'm like oh okay that just completely erased everything I thought she was even for myself like I've been playing her for five years now and it's like she keeps changing in my own eyes so it's like it's been very interesting no dull moments that's yeah. for sure and it always paves the way for more and more a theories what's been your favorite theory or one that really made you think like hey maybe that is true maybe that's who A is well I don't know if I thought it was true but my favorite was when I was getting a lot of fan responses of A being Melissa's unborn child oh, that she was yes. texting or it was texting from the womb oh that would be a whole new level of technology right and a whole new level of what Pretty Little Liars is like we all know it's not quite based in reality but this would be like taking it to another level if you loved this interview then be be sure to click right here to see another interview with a pretty little liar from the 100th episode party.